वेलकम टू एसेंस ऑफ नॉलेज दिस मीटिंग इज फॉर द पार्टिसिपेंट्स ऑफ द प्रोग्राम ऑफ द पाथ ऑफ नॉलेज एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद अ टेस्ट ऑफ झरना यू विल बी गिवन टेन क्वेश्चन एंड इफ यू कैन आंसर फाइव और मोर और यू रिसीव मोर देन फिफ्टी परसेंट मार्क्स यू विल एंटर द स्टेप नंबर फोर ऑफ द प्रोग्राम विच इज एक्सपेरिमेंट्स और प्रैक्टिस एंड आफ्टर दैट will discuss the questions so these are your questions take your time all the best what makes the path of knowledge unique uh, the path of knowledge means uh, here we are uh, dropping our all types of ignorance so path of unique is we call this is the royal path because in this path there are no need any type of uh, um, pujas any type of dress uh, so that uh, only here needs knowledge through knowledge we are uh, dropping our ignorance that's why this path is very unique next question how to difference between knowledge and information so knowledge means knowledge means uh, knowledge is the inter relation among experience and this is we call knowledge and information mm, means any type of things when we know uh, that is information so knowledge comes from uh, mm, direct experience and logic but uh, information we can collect from anywhere and knowledge is the valid, valid knowledge always uh, giving us valid uh, but information may be right may be wrong now question number 3 if truth is subjective how will anyone know the final truth truth is subjective but uh, here truth criteria is different for uh, different situation so um, anyone know the final truth final truth is nothing there is in this existence there is no truth and no false truth only depends on the uh, criteria question number 4 if knowledge leads to unknowing what is the use of knowledge knowledge required for uh, dropping out our ignorance dropping our to understand the illusion to uh, throw out superstition so that's why knowledge is required question number 5 how do we know that the existence is infinite existence is uh, non local it is timeless even uh, and nothing is dual in this existence and uh, the essence of the existence is emptiness so i am if i am the experiencer then i am the uh, part of the existence so the experiencer uh, another name is existence and um, and this existence uh, uh, yeah, how to know that the ex- and the existence is infinite because in uh, whatever we have uh, experience and this experiencer everything is in existence only and others everything are illusion what are the question number 6 what are the advantage of being the experiencer what are the advantage of being the experiencer actually uh, there is never an experiencer if there is no experiencer then uh, only experience comes and goes but experiencer remains so experiencer uh, experiencer is unchanging 
and unlimited and um, uh, existence. So uh, being exper experiencer, we are not able to see. Experiencer just, if we be in the experience, that only we can experience it. Question number seven. What is being experienced right now? Experience right now. Experience, uh, it is that the aspect of the existence which appears that is experience. But experience, uh, uh, an experience where, uh, what is the big experience right now? Uh, this time there is no experience uh, because it is true nature of the experience is emptiness. So, how can we use illusion? We are always in maximum, we are using illusion because without illusion, uh, everything like robot. So, we use illusion to know the actual truth and we remove our for removing our ignorance we should know the illusion and um, which layers in the memory produce the illusion question number nine memory produce the illusion the layers actually that is imaginary word so that um, any uh, specific layer is not there that can produce any type of illusion. Question number 10. What cause a person to evolve? Actually, this is the system of existence. Here, uh, that is causeless. No cause is there uh, for if a, if a evolution and another thing is here no person is there only remains experience experiencer in this existence only uh, experiences is there and experiencer and experience experiencer and existence both are same that's all guruji thank you very much your attempt was very good you get uh, 7.5 marks out of 10 which is excellent you have a lot of knowledge. Yes, we need a little bit of polish on your knowledge. The expression can be improved some places. But anyway, you are ready to go to the step number four. Thank you, Guruji. Actually, from first onwards, uh, I already told you I have little bit language problem every time I mix the language. So for your guides and your blessings, uh, I just jump this stage and keep blessing on me. Thank you. One second. What I will say, I have no words for that. So thank you. One second, Guruji. Okay. Welcome. No problem. These are minor issues now, language and all. So what you will do in step number four, you watch all the videos there first. There are five or six, seven videos. Then you start the practices mentioned in the video and in the program itself website, there is a facility to send weekly reports. You need to send one or two sentences of about your progress every week through the program. And now everything is easy. The difficult part was listening and test. After this, nothing to nothing much in the program. So now we are going to discuss the answers. Where did I did it? Only one answer was totally wrong. But everything else was almost perfect. So usually we do that, we discuss the answers for a while for the benefit of uh, our group members and those who are not uh, in the meeting today, they can listen to the recording, it will be published here in the group. So number one was what makes the path of knowledge unique? She got half mark because she said uh, it is about destruction of ignorance and so on. That is good. But uh, here we are talking about uh, in the relative uh, qualities of the path of knowledge compared to other systems of spirituality. So just like uh, the program mentions, there is nothing which is extreme on the path of knowledge. You don't need any extreme practices. It is mostly intellectual 
you need very uh, sharp intelligence and the work is done truth is known whatever your goal is it can be achieved you don't need uh, any kind of energy manipulation any gods and goddesses rituals nothing like this no need to leave your house no need to wear specific kind of clothes or rudraksh or crystals nothing this is all not required actually so th- this makes the path of knowledge unique that there is no bells and whistles smokes and mirrors here very straight forward it is highly appealing to a simple intelligent person it may look like that it is difficult at first but actually it is the simplest most direct way that is why we call it direct path pathless path so number 2 how to differentiate between knowledge and information exact answer her answer was 100% correct and number 3 if truth is subjective how will anyone know the final truth again correct answer 100% correct that we use truth to reach the final it is a simply step to reach the final goal and and there is not much use of truth finally you need to be what you are there is not much use of knowing the truth there is uh, you can say some use of being the truth whatever you have known as the truth it will come out to be yourself so just be that and you can see that you are the truth and you are the false you are the illusion you are the reality you are the essence and you are the non essence that is what non dual existence means which is you only there is nothing else there is no separate individual or anybody nothing so at, at this stage and uh, the truth is meaningless i'm i'm not saying it is useless it is meaningless but uh, its use is, is in to reach that so that is done by choosing a suitable criteria which is applicable in on all, all context each and every context if a criteria is applicable we call it and uh, the reasonable criteria or you can say superior criteria that it never fails it always produces results and so we adopt this very strict criteria we realize the true nature the essence and uh, after that there is nothing much to do so you will need to abandon these concepts of final truth ultimate truth this truth that truth they are all stepping stones to the final oneness which i am number 4 if knowledge leads to unknowing what is the use of knowledge full marks although an explanation was could have been better that uh, uh, the knowledge is simply removal of ignorance nothing is added on the path of knowledge we do not add something in your mind it is not an accumulation of facts and formulas and uh, mantras and who knows what no knowledge is removal of what is already accumulated which is clouding your real nature so ultimately there remains nothing to know that is called this position of unknowing or agnosticism agnosticism so the path of knowledge makes us free from knowledge and ignorance both whatever you thought is my knowledge is also destroyed it comes out to be something useless which is simply clouding my being so you can say that is the use of knowledge but after that there is no knowledge no ignorance nothing emptiness purity remains number 5 how do we know that the existence is infinite she got half marks because i gave her half because she said it is timeless yes that is half answer so in order to find out why do we call it infinite we must know what is the meaning of finite isn't it infinite means that which is not finite finite means limited how can something be limited there are two ways at least two basic ways in which something can be limited first is it will have a shape or size it will extend to this much shape this much size it will have this much weight its dimensions will be this much it can be from few millimeters to meters to kilometers to millions of meters but the size or its extension will be limited it will be found to occupy as limited place space the second way something can be limited is time it will start at some time and it it will disappear at a later time so it is limited by time limited by space and there can be more limitations like qualities either it will be cold it will remain cold or it is hot it will remain hot or it will become cold and hot or it will be of specific color of specific form so these are the limitations 
and when we do the analysis of the existence we do not find all these limitations we do not find anything which can be called finite that look it starts here it ends here no never find like this look it is found in this place not in this place no we do not find like this all there is existence there are no places where the existence can be found this is what the analysis tells you and there are no other qualities also because all the qualities are found there all possibilities are existing we never find any specific thing which can make it limited or finite infinite that is why we say it is infinite and the existence is nothing but me i am the existence so i am also infinite this short way of saying so anyhow this is the uh, detailed answer so number 6 what are the advantages of being the experiencer this answer was wrong and i know it is very tricky it why is somebody asking this question you need to find out the cause of the question also why this question came what do we say you are not the body you are not the mind you are not the person you are the experiencer this much can be heard and probably everybody has heard this much <laughs> but uh, this is half knowledge nothing is explained beyond this so the person is now wondering okay i am not the body not the mind not this but what is the use of being the experiencer then because the body is really useful isn't it the mind is useful emotions thoughts they are useful the person is very useful i am having a life but then this ignorant seeker or the person will think i don't see any use of being the experiencer so this question is arising from this um, wrong knowledge or you can say simply heard somewhere information that you are experiencer but has not realized what is experiencer so you are the experiencer that means it is your essence it is your essence your essence is witness and there cannot be any use there cannot be any advantage or disadvantage these concepts of use uselessness advantage utility they are applicable to objects so body is an object yes there is some utility some use of it it is giving us an experience of human being your car is an object there is some use your house is one object it has some advantage but the essence you cannot apply all these ideas of advantage disadvantage and all this to essence you are that now why do you want to find the advantage of it or what is the dis- dis- disadvantage in it so these uh, words are meaningless when applied to the experiencer what more concepts are meaningless you already know all these things uh, what is the shape of the experiencer totally useless concept it cannot be applied what is the color of the experience no you cannot apply it is the essence not a quality so when you come to know that uh, i am the experiencer actually nothing extra will be gained your only only your ignorance will be lost and whatever you are whatever you have body mind money prestige relations they all continue as usual they have advantages they have disadvantages so this is was this was a tricky question do not try to apply these concept to the essence that is a mistake so number 7 what is being experienced right now uh, correct answer 100% right answer what we are experiencing right now is existence the manifested existence that is the definition of experience current experience is of the existence and what is it at the level of non duality it is me i am taking all the forms that would be complete answer i am experiencing myself what is the essential knowledge existence is experiencing itself in illusory forms the dream is the dreamer the dreamer is the dream this is what is this question is asking what is being experienced it is me only and any ignorant person will say i am experiencing my room i am experiencing a world a little bit in- intelligent people will person will say i am also experiencing this body and my thoughts and emotions and feelings and sensations your voice but uh, these points of views are very small i am not saying it is wrong but knowledge is not there but those who have completed the program they come to know the real answer what is in front of you right now existence there is nothing else all these names forms concepts they are meaningless finally it is me what is in front of me me only what is in front of you you only you are that so when i say that i am everything then it does not mean that you are left out somehow if you are the whole then who am i any person will ask no you are also that <laughs> 
सकते दैट मीन्स यू हैव नॉट अंडरस्टूड वॉट यू आर दैट्स वाई यू आर आस्किंग एट हाउ कैन वी यूज इल्यूजन हियर शी गॉट हाफ मार्क्स बिकॉज शी सेड वी आर यूजिंग इल्यूजन ऑनली दैट इज राइट देन शी सेड द यूज ऑफ इल्यूजन इज इन नोइंग द ट्रूथ दैट इज वेरी ब्यूटिफुल आंसर वेरी नाइस आंसर द यूज ऑफ इल्यूजन इज इन नोइंग द ट्रूथ सो आई गेव अर हाफ मार्क्स बट अगेन द इल्यूजन इज ऑल्सो मी करेक्ट दैट विच इज बींग एक्सपीरियंसड इज एन इल्यूजन अनदर नेम ऑफ इट इज इल्यूजन माया दैट इज ऑल्सो मी and again we should not uh, use the small concepts narrow concept everyday concept of usefulness and uselessness in on these fundamental things like illusion or me myself so you can say that there is no use of illusion plus it is not even useless it totally depends on the person the illusory person to decide what i'll do with this illusion because it is itself an illusion this human being is an, is an illusion and it is free to decide what they want to do that is another answer that totally depends on you what what do you want to use it for like she said i want to use it for knowing the truth but probably somebody else has already seen the truth now can he throw away the illusion no <laughs> it is my part it won't go away even after knowing the truth who you are it still it is still there now what is the use totally depends on what is your desire what is your wish but ultimately you should know that is hardly any use it is what it is that is the bottom line bottom answer the final answer it is what it is if you think it can be used for something okay go ahead it is like a dream you are watching a dream and you ask this question how can i use this dream it is going to end isn't it is false it's going to change so meaningless question but still you can dive into the dream you can say okay this looks like very interesting dream probably i can drive a new car probably i can build a new house probably i can marry again here so <laughs> desire fulfillment isn't it the illusion gives you illusory desires and this illusory person runs after these illusory desires we can call it the use it is play it is useful for play that's all you are free to assign any use any meaning any purpose any reason to your own life that is called freedom liberation number 9 number 10 totally correct what causes person to evolve the answer was complete that <laughs> there is no person and evolution is simply happening and it is also appearing it appears that something is evolving but actually it is whole and complete perfect in every way so evolution the possibility of exists there it is a part of perfection of wholeness and devolution is also there because it it is whole it must have everything so nothing causes it and the person feels that i am evolving there is an illusion of evolution that i am evolving so enjoy yes why not enjoy it enjoy your evolution do something to evolve that is intelligent action which layers in memory produce the illusion her answer was correct yes the all the layers are part of the illusion only they do not produce the illusion and we cannot say that the illusion produces the layer no illusion is illusion layers are simply scientific way of explaining what is seen in the illusion one does not produce the other one does not cause the other they are simply uh, theories to explain away the illusion so <laughs> the we say that this mind created we say that the illusion is being created by senses but that is the language of uh, science not of path of knowledge there it, it is assumed that the vibrations are fundamental actually they are but still it is a theory and then we say it is a memory then we say the memory organizes in layers and then we say it produces this very elaborate fantastic absolutely mind blowing illusion of being a human human life being on this in this universe physical universe so on so that can be one answer but ultimately it is simply an explanation of what is happening what is appearing so when whenever these questions are asked it is uh good to answer it from both points of view from the scientific point of view also and uh, from the absolute point of view also that completes the answer there remains no doubts after you explain it from all angles so these are questions and answers so congratulations you passed okay anup is saying is turiya and nirvikalp samadhi same closest thing in my experience similar to this is this is deep sleep but awareness is blank while in deep sleep please clarify see turiya word comes from the advait tradition which is the path of knowledge 
But Nirvikalpa Samadhi comes from the Ashtanga Yoga, which is not path of knowledge. There the definition is something else. There, there will be interpretations of what Nirvikalpa Samadhi is. I have seen many, many interpretations. Every tradition has a different meaning. Every guru says it in a different way. So, the uh, proof is tasting the sugar. We can talk about sugar for whole day. But uh, once you taste the sugar, you know what it is. So, you want to know what is Nirvikalpa Samadhi? You will need to join that path where it is taught. And then you will need to practice. Practice according to the directions of the guru there. And then you will taste it. If you don't do that, all there will be descriptions of sugar. It is white, it is sweet, it is like this, it is like that, which is completely useless. See, spirituality is a practical matter. He is saying it similar to deep sleep. You will never know. So, you can know the meaning of the word. Nirvikalp means without any um, occlusions, without any distortions, isn't it? But no, you will need to taste it to know it and then you will need to go to that path turiya i can tell you yes how to find out what is turiya you already know the waking dreaming sleeping there are few more states like projecting and death and all these states and they are explained in uh, you can say step number four and also in the tantra bodhi program a detailed explanation is there how to experience them that practical ways are given when your awareness extends into all the states. It is so strong. Awareness means what? Knowledge. Who am I? And what is what is it that is appearing? If that becomes continuous, it is a state of mind that will be called Turiya state. Which means there won't remain any difference between waking, dreaming, sleeping, projecting, dying, taking birth. It is one continuous experience. We can say in the language of Tantra that uh, our, our scientific model that memory bridges form between all these states. A bridge connects all these states. Right now, why is there a difference between your waking and dreaming? Because while you are dreaming, in the dreaming state, you forget the waking. Why do you forget? There is no awareness. The awareness is not strong. There is no power in the awareness. And when you come in back in waking, you forget the dreaming. Within five minutes, gone. The whole night is forgotten. Same way deep sleep and all these other, your past lives are forgotten. No memory bridge. So this much I know. This much I know from experience. And you also are doing the practices. So you will know. You will taste it. That much is guaranteed. You will reach Turiya on the path of knowledge. The rest, I believe, will be similar. Something similar. But uh, we should stick to one path. We should stick to one method. Ultimately, it is all one, isn't it? It is all one. So, no matter which path you take, you will reach there. And the problem is, if you get tangled in the words, Oh, I am not getting Nirvikalp Samadhi. I am not getting this and that. So, it is useless. No, no, no. That is uh, wrong practice. We should not mix the methods, practices, words, concepts. You achieve one thing. You achieve Turiya. Then you worry about Nirvikalp. You will see that something similar will be there. And what is deep sleep? You see, there, there are two kinds of sleep. One is with awareness, one is without awareness. For most of the people, it is without awareness. And when it is with awareness, it will be equal to Turiya. So, Turiya is um, disappearance of these different states. It is not another state. It is not that you will go into Turiya that come back. You will go there and then come back. No. When all the states disappear, there remains one state, which is Turiya. How to achieve it? You are doing it. You have taken the step. First step is knowledge. Second step is abidance or you can say uh, the practices, experiments. Start with the waking state. Then slowly you can take it into other states. What else is your uh, life goal? Nothing. You see, after achieving the knowledge, <laughs> there remains play. Like we ask, what is the use here? What is the use of this illusion, this life? Explore it. You, It is infinite. And you are infinite. You have infinite time. The only thing that can go wrong is falling back in ignorance. That should be avoided. Rest is your choice. So we will uh, finish our meeting here. And uh, I will meet again next time. Thank you everybody for participating. Namaste.